Hey, I can roar louder than you. Roar! Oh, yeah? Well, I can roar louder than you. Roar! Oh, yeah? Well, take this. Roar! Hey, wait a minute. Instead of fighting, maybe we should be friends. Huh. I like that idea. You want to go play a game? Yeah, let's go. After you. Why, thank you. Da, 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 da. Huh. Well, that's enough conflict resolution practice for me today. I wonder what time it is. Ooh. Lunch! My favorite meal between breakfast and dinner. <gasps> the pizza sandwich. <sighs> Two of my favorite things in one easy to eat package. <laughs> Oh, nothing could possibly interrupt this perfect lunch now. At the door. Could be knocking on the door with my lunch. Maybe AJ will get it for me. Hey, AJ! Someone's at the door! Maybe you can't hear me in the face. Hey, AJ! Someone's at the door! I can't get it because I'm not here! <laughs> you might know that's not true. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a pizza delivery. Oh. I must be seeing things. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go here and open up this closet and see that there's absolutely no raptor inside. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Looks like we have ourselves a situation. Okay, well, I better find AJ and get out of here and then warn him. No, I better get out of here and find AJ and then warn him. Get him as we're safe. Of course, I have him. We'll save her out on the ranch and then I'll let go of him. <laughs> this is not good. The T Rex is looking at me like I look at my pizza sandwich. Which, by the way, I have yet to eat. In fact, who does that T-Rex think she is interrupting my lunch like that? You know what? I want to give her a piece of my mind. In fact, that's just what I'm going to do. You know, Miss T-Rex, you are interrupting my lunch. Okay, not as sympathetic as I had hoped. I got to tell AJ that we're being surrounded by fierce predators. Oh, but my walkie's over there. Okay, what's I gotta do is stretch to get it while holding the door. I can use a little help. Poor great AJ, I'm so glad you're here. Hand me my walkie talkie. This way I can get a hold of. You? How can I help, Park Ranger Andy? Well, first of all, there's a very rude T-Rex on the other side of this door, and I think she's trying to get inside. I believe you, but that doesn't sound like typical T-Rex behavior. So, let me take a look. <laughs> I got you good. There's no T-Rex there. Well, there probably is one out there somewhere, because we're a T-Rex branch. Oh, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me because I haven't had my lunch yet. Is that all you had to tell me? No, there's one very big bit of information that you need to know. There's a raptor in that closet. <laughs> okay, you must be cranky because that is ridiculous. Wait, cranky? Crazy and hungry. <laughs> That's a good one. But I'm not. I'm telling you.
of you. I was sitting right here. I was eating my lunch. And there was a knock on the door. And then the door opened. And a raptor ran in. And it locked itself in the closet. Ranger Andy, I know there is a raptor in that closet. There is. There is. Nonsense. I'm gonna open this door and prove to you that there's nothing except a bunch of gadgets and blasters. He's got one of our gadgets! Why is there a raptor in the closet? Well, that brings me back to my original point. I think she's being chased. Chased? By who? Well, this is a real pickle. You can say that again. You're not going to say that again, are you? No, because while it would be hilariously hilarious, I think we need to focus on the problem at hand. How do we get the raptor out of the closet? Hmm. Oh, I got it, I got it, we could... Uh, I know, we could... Oh, that won't work. Well, we could... No, never mind. I got it! Wait! No. We don't have enough marshmallows. Oh, it's no use! I can't think with all this noise! Wait, but there's no noise. Oh. But then I can't think with all this silence! Exactly! I don't hear the T-Rex. Did you go away? I don't know. To the window! <gasps> Look! The T-Rex! Behind that door! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Where's she going? Oh, look. She found another raptor. Uh-oh. I think that raptor's about to get eaten up. Or tapped on the head? I don't understand what's happening. I got it! The T-Rex and the raptors are playing hide-and-seek. That's why he ran into the closet. He's hiding. What an interestingly weird theory. You got a better one? Nope. That's what I thought. Now, all we have to do is shove this raptor where the closet raptor is hiding. And voila! Problem solved. Watch and learn. You who Mrs. Raptor! Looking for someone? I think this is a good idea. Oh, please. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy, and you gave him up! He's going to be mad at you! <laughs> See, I told you! What do we do? He thinks he's it, so he's coming for the ten! We should hide! Yeah! Where to hide? Where to hide? You think he's still out there? No idea. And there's no way in knowing when he'll leave. Well, this is a real pickle. You could say that again. Fine. This is a real pickle. <laughs> you see how funny that was? I think I'll take my chances with the raptors. No, don't! Ranger AJ, we're at Dinos Alive in Montebello, Los Angeles. We're inside, there's over 80 animatronic dinosaurs. Let's go compare them to the real dinosaurs at T-Rex Riot. Great idea, let's go. What do you think VIP means? Very immense predators. Whoa. We're in a jungle. Well, we're not in Montebello anymore. Waterfall. 
And a cave. Where do you think it leads? I don't know, but it looks scary. Let's go in and find out. Go in? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Me first? Yeah, I've got more life to live. You know what I thought it was going to be. It's dark in here. Let's get our lights out. Good idea. What if the dinosaurs just jump out at us? I thought you said they were animatronic. What if it's a jumping animatronic? Shh. Do you hear that? Oh. I think I see something. Whoa. What is it? It's a Coloradosaurus. From when? The Triassic period. We don't have one of those. But we have one of those. A Stegosaurus. And look at the Metrodon, just like the one back at T-Rex Ranch. Except these dinos are much better behaved than our dinos. You said it. A Lanosaurus! What else do they got? Look at this big guy. Whoa! Diplodocus! Wow! It could be a hundred feet long! It's a lot of shoes. Look at the spikes on his back. I guess you can't ride him. Oh, that looks like it would hurt. Look how long the tail is. It's almost as long as the rest of this whole body. An Ankylosaurus! Ketrosaurus. It looks kind of like the Ankylosaurus. Look at his face. He's got such a kind little face. Dilophosaurus! He's a fancy dinosaur with that fancy collar. You gonna go to a fancy tea party? A fancy tea Rex party. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's terrifying. <laughs> An Allosaurus. Cool. Uh-oh. You know they're carnivores, don't you? Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, it's okay, buddy. Oh, we got a couple of these. Look at that beautiful head. Now what that is, it thought it was a dragon. Would you rather run into him or the T-Rex? I don't know, they're both pretty scary. Uh, just back up slowly. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. That is a scary dino. He looks like a giant alligator. Yeah! From the Cretaceous period. I'm gonna guess he's a herbivore. Oh, he's a carnivore. He's another scary guy. Oh. He's a... Paradoix. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. He likes me. Look at these. Those heads look good for ramming people. They look like helmets. What would happen if I did that to you? Not a good idea. What's through here? A mighty T-Rex. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. So that's it. This is the T-Rex? I remember him being bigger. Yeah, me too. A Spinosaurus! Wow, it's gigantic! We have one at T-Rex Ranch, but I don't think it's this big. No, but we've never been this close to it. Usually it's very far in the distance. Think it's bigger than a T-Rex? I don't know, let's find out. Larger than T-Rex, Spinosauruses were the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Its name comes from the large fin on its back, which was probably a display feature. Spinosaurus hunted fish along the shore and smaller prey like infant dinosaurs and adult park rangers. Whew. Park rangers? Oh, no, just kidding. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Spinosaurus. 
Let's go. Quetzal 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 Quetzalcoatlust Aztec, Aztec feathered, feathered serpent god. But he's not even a serpent. That's false advertising. Well, it's easier to say. Dino's supposed to come out of this thing. Hello, is there a dino in there? I give up. Hey, Park Ranger Andy. Yes, Park Ranger AJ. What do you call a dinosaur with rotten eggs? I don't know. What do you call a dinosaur with rotten eggs? Eggs extinct. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Are you done? Almost. Can I go next? No, it's kids only. It's a lot of fun. Oh, what is this place? I don't know, but it sure is magical. Look at all these amazing prehistoric fish. Let's show them all at him. Got him! There's a big one way up there! You got him! Oh! Got him! Park Ranger Andy, here's how it's done. What are we doing, Park Ranger AJ? Well, Park Ranger Andy, we're drawing dinosaurs, and when we're finished, we can scan them in and they'll pop up up there. Whoa, these are some high-tech dinosaurs. Cool. Where are we? We're in the virtual reality room, where once we put on these magic goggles, we're in a world of virtual dinosaurs. Are you seeing these dinosaurs? Yeah! Wow! What are you doing? Playing fence with the Velociraptor! I got it! I got it! Ah! <laughs> it's like come up to me! Yeah! You throw the bone for it! <laughs> this is creepy! I think I'm on the third level. <laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah, it's so lifelike. Are you sure there aren't any real dinosaurs? Oh yeah, this is all virtual. There is absolutely, positively, 100% no real dinosaurs at all. Whoa. <laughs> Got some dry skin, Park Ranger. You know, it's funny, I was thinking the same thing about you. Wait, but I'm over here. You are? <gasps> ah! 39 minutes later. Good news. Got our park ranger uniforms back, all dry cleaned and pressed. How's that busted dino trap coming along? All fixed. Fantastic.
That's two chores down. Yoo-hoo, Rexa. Yes, Park Ranger Orson. What's left on our daily task list? There are currently 173 items remaining. You're kidding me. <laughs> hey, Park Rangers. You seem stressed. Or hungry. I can't quite tell. Definitely stressed. Too much to do and not enough time to do it. Do you want help? That'd be great, actually. We could really use an extra hand. Oh, I only have the two. That's okay, Sam. We got it. Orson, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Not enough starch on the uniforms. I agree. No. Maybe there's another way we can get help from Sam. Or should I call her the secret autonomous machine? We could switch her into robo-girl mode. I don't know. She's been in real girl mode ever since she got here. But what's the use in having a robot around if she can't do robot stuff? How else are we going to complete our monthly task list on time? It is the last day of the month, and I do not want to find out what happens if we don't finish on time. Just leave it to me. I got this. Hey, Sam. Can you grab me a pair? They're in the bobbin drawer. Sure. Happy to help. Hmm, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. No, that's a potato. Thank you for activating RoboGirl Sam. My power cell is currently at 99% battery life. Also, there are no pairs in this fridge, nor have there ever been. Oh, uh, no worries. Hey, we thought about it, and we'd love your help finishing our chores. Of course. What can I do? We have a task list, but in general, uh... Fix whatever needs fixing. I understand that. Thank you. There seems to be a loose thread in your scarf. I can fix that. May I? This says a seismic disturbance started in a clearing just ahead. What do you think caused it? Big dino footsteps? Maybe, but it looks like something fell from the sky and landed right... Whoa, what is that? Well, let's go find out. <gasps> Pretty cool, huh? Wait, look. Dino tracks. Looks like an Allosaurus. Big one, too. And it went right through the rainbow. I wonder what that means. Did you hear that? It's not usually a good sign, but I don't see anything, so... You also saw a bright green allosaurus, right? Yeah. Let's go follow it. Sure. Why not? Hey, Sam, we're back from the... Hey, Park Rangers. Hey, Sam. What's happening here? Oh, well, I was about to fix Orson's scarf, but when I sat down on the couch to sew it, I noticed a loose spring. So I moved the couch, which exposed a loose floorboard. Okay, but is any of this on our task list? I don't know. You tell me. Reshingle the roof. Change the oil on the T-Rex 1. Organize all the rocks in T-Rex Ranch by size, weight, and color. Sam, are you sure about all this? Oh, yes. After all, I have been asked to fix whatever needs fixing. She can't keep this up forever, right? Of course not. After 5,000 years of activity, my battery level will decrease to 50% of its current level. Oh. We've made a huge mistake. If the other dinos can't see that Allosaurus coming, he could wipe out the whole park. Good thing I brought the rainbow, right? It can change the color of anything it zapped. Nice. Did you invent that? No, I found it in the Dino Master gadget closet. Where'd you pull it out from? <laughs> I don't suppose it does anything more helpful? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let me try a different setting. <laughs> I 
think they were embarrassed, but very patriotic. Does that roof seem leaky to you? I'm gonna go check it out. We need to do something. She's never gonna stop. Okay, let's think carefully. Do we have any sort of instructional manual for Sam? Actually, we kind of do. Let me get this straight, Park Rangers. First, you steal my robot, and now you want my help fixing her? That is rich! We're not asking for your help, Dino Master. Just a little advice. Oh, let me think about that for a sec. No! How about that, huh? How about no? I knew this was a waste of time. The truth is, Park Rangers, the only way to get Sam to break away from her infinite task loop is to give her an impassable task, which will cause her to reboot. But, when you know it, there's nothing she can't do, because the person who created her is a genius! Me, in case you forgot. Wait, that's it. There's nothing she can't do. Hold on! Don't start getting ideas from my cruel mockery! No, wait! Don't tell me off! Don't tell me off! I'm not done mockery! Wait, don't tell me off! Alright, I know what to do. Let's get Sam back here. Hey, Sam! Would you come down for a minute? I think you missed a speck of dust on the floor. Oh, no! Be right there! Oh, look! It's an Allosaurus nest. But where's the Allosaurus? Looks like he's everywhere! <gasps> I've got an idea! How is this helping exactly? Look over there! <laughs> okay, I've got a new plan. Run for it! <laughs> We're trapped! Wait, zap me! What? Why? Just zap me! <laughs> They're confused! Now's your chance! Happy to help! Happy to help you too! Everything is back to normal. <clears throat> oh, right. One sec. Where is the patch of dust? Oh, we'll take care of it. But we do have one more urgent job for you, and it needs to be done before anything else on your list. Okay, what is it? We need you to do nothing. Nothing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. But that's impossible. Even when I'm doing nothing, I'm still doing something. I'm I'm breathing, I'm standing, I'm talking. It's 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 impossible. System malfunction. Convincing reboot. I think it worked. Sam? You in there? <sighs> I just had the weirdest dream. Why are you staring at me? No reason, nothing to worry about. Wow, it's so clean in here. You could thank Sam for that. Thanks, Sam. It looks great. Why are you purple? You can thank Asher for that. The rainbow ray ran out of batteries. It happens. Five years ago. Mm, man, nothing like a sandwich break after patching up the laser fences, huh? Hey, where's your sandwich, Dan? Not hungry, but I do have something to show you. Cool mask. What's it do? Oh, nothing much. Just grants the wearer the power to control the mind of any dinosaur they want. Sounds kind of dangerous. Not to mention a little far-fetched. Are you sure it works? Of course. All my inventions work. Okay, lunchtime's over. 
Oh, wait! Uh, let me try my device first! No can do, Park Ranger. We gotta drive fast. Right now! Come on, Dan! We'll try it out later! After that, the Dino Master left the ranch and he's been plotting his revenge ever since. All because you didn't let him wear his Dino Master mask? Like, 85% sure. I can't believe it's been five years to the day. A lot of knocks on the door of our secret dinosaur sanctuary lately. And everyone who knows about T-Rex Ranch is in this room. All except one. Who's that? The Dino Master. <gasps> Dino Master? Me? No. I'm Judo Master. Like a martial artist? No. No, just Judo Master? You clearly have me confused with my twin brother, Dan. Wait, back up. So the Dino Master's real name is Dan. Oh, Master. Yes, it's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I realize it's a it's a humorous name. Okay, Jude. Let's say you really are the Dino Master's twin brother. Why are you here? To share a message on Dan's behalf. There's no hard feelings for the way you treated him. I'm sorry. The way we treated him? Well, surely you remember how it all went down. Dan had brought his favorite sandwich to lunch. Limburger cheese with burnt tomatoes and anchovies. Gotta go, Maisie. But then, it was stolen right out from under his useless nose. He tragically lost his sense of smell and chowder. Dan never thought his fellow park rangers would steal his beloved sandwich. Ooh, smelly. But still, they did. Hey, Dan, where's your sandwich? <laughs> Not hungry. <laughs> So the Dino Master became an evil villain bent on destroying T-Rex Ranch because of a sandwich? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of dramatic, but yes. Anywho, after five years, all he wants is an apology. And to show that there's no hard feelings, he offers this gift. Whoa, cool cue. What does it do? Dan said you would know. Bet I can figure it out. I was built by the Dino Master after all. Still under warranty. How about you two take the mystery box outside and report back? We'll stay here with Jude. Okay. What should we do first? Press, Press the, the button. button! Wait, what if something bad happens? Like, what if it's a fart box? Ew, what's that? It's a box that makes farts. Aren't you a fart box, Asher? <laughs> okay, let's press it together. But don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> let's point at stuff and see what happens. Good idea. Look, I know sometimes it can be hard to apologize, but in all fairness, you did eat his sandwich. I will admit to the sandwich theft. But it was a mistake. And what about all of the awful things that he did to us? Uh, oh, we've all had our little oopsies in the past, right? You who, Arexa, please tell us all the times the Dino Master carried out an evil scheme here at T-Rex Ranch. My pleasure, starting alphabetically with A. Aardvark army attack, ant infestation, 
Appetite accelerant for velociraptors. Aquarium water in the cooler. Shall I continue? Good for now, thanks. Okay, but tell me this. Weren't some of these schemes in the name of science and discovery? I mean, sure. Those were some very organized aardvarks. I have a question. Can you prove that you're not the Dino Master? Of course. I'll just call him up. No. Ask him to come here. Sure, why not? Triceratops test in three, two, one. Ha! It is a fart box! Let's do it again! Well, maybe it's a coincidence. season. Maybe it's a gift. Let's follow her and find out. Hey, I brought a sandwich platter. One of those is my favorite. Limburger cheese with anchovies and burnt tomato slices. So don't eat it. Hmm. Hello, brother. Weird seeing you here. Sorry you had to come all this way, Dan. They didn't believe me. Still don't, in fact. You mind taking off that mask so we know it's really you under there? Uh, uh, really? I even brought finger sandwiches, not even made out of real fingers, which I could have easily done. Uh, fine. <gasps> Told you. Great, now let's hear each other out. Macy? Dino Master, Dan, I'm sorry I ate your sandwich five years ago. I didn't realize it was yours, but I should have asked. Thank you, Macy. Dino Master? Okay, fine. And I'm sorry I slightly overreacted into becoming an evil supervillain. Proud of you, twin bro. Great. Now let's shake on it and call a truce. Now, for friends of T-Rex Ranch only, how would you like to meet our new baby dinos? Oh, well, it's about time. I, I, I mean, sure. Sounds well. Hey, it's the mystery box. The button is the same color as the eggs. That's probably why the mama Tranodon took the box. Quick. Grab it before she gets back. Sam, look! There's a door! And an egg inside! <gasps> Here goes nothing. Detecting Pteranodon egg. We did it! We solved the mystery of the mystery box! <laughs> Gotta go! Get in there, Jude. Well, that's all right. There'll be plenty of time for that later. I gotta hand it to you, Dan. These sandwiches are delicious. Wait, which one did you have? Hmm, tastes like Limburger cheese, burnt tomatoes, and anchovies. Oh no. Not again, not again! All that nicey nice truce business was all just a front so you can steal my sandwich again. Unbelievable. But they weren't even labeled. That's what the chow chamber's for. The what? Hey guys, we just found out that... What? What's the Dino Master doing here? Ugh, they'll explain later. Cube, please. Sandwich, please.
protecting Limburger cheese, burnt tomato slices, pumpernickel. Huh! Cool gadget! I know it is! The chow chamber is a brilliant invention and now it's tainted forever! Sorry, Jude. We'll have to come back another time and steal our baby dino. I'm disgusted by the sight of these sound stealers. You haven't seen the last of the dino master. <laughs> Nice to meet you all. The burnt tomato really complements the smelly cheese. Yeah, Ugh. gross. I know, right?